Pictures and an Exhibition is a musical composition originally written for piano by the Russian composer Monas Mussorgsky in 1874. Later, the French composer Maurice Ravel turned the same music into a piece for orchestra, dividing the parts among many instruments. This is the version we have listened to. Mussorgsky wrote this piece after attending an art exhibition for of works by his good friend Victor Hartmann, an artist and architect who suddenly died at the age of 39. Mussorgsky was so sad about his friend's death and so inspired to see his paintings that after attending the exhibition, exhibition he rushed home to, and composed music that reflected the drawings and paintings that he had seen. Most of Victor Hartmann's drawings and paintings are now lost, so we can only imagine what they might have looked like based on the music that Mussorgsky wrote. Our challenge has been to listen to each movement of pictures at an exhibition, embark on a voyage of research and discovery, as we reimagined, drew and painted pictures to complement each movement. So welcome to our own version of Pictures at an Exhibition. We hope you enjoy viewing as much as we have enjoyed pictures creating. Pictures at an Exhibition is divided into 10 movements that represent 10 paintings. Remember, a movement is one part of the whole composition, kind of like a chapter in a book. These are interspersed with five little movements called promenades. Promenades mean to walk. The promenades are meant to portray the movement and feeling of walking from one painting to another in an exhibition. A visitor to a museum or gallery will often spend a few hours in the space, strolling leisurely from one work of art to another, thinking about what they have seen. The promenades are not paintings. Each one is a musical description of the act and feeling of walking around the exhibition. Some of us, however, have turned this feeling into an art piece too. The gnome. The picture that inspired the gnome was supposedly a sketch of a little gnome clumsily running with crooked legs. We also listen to stories about gnomes and trolls for inspiration. castle. The picture that inspired this movement was of a medieval castle before which a troubadour sang a song. A troubadour was, traveling, was a traveling musician from the Middle Ages who sang songs, sometimes about love and often accompanied himself on a guitar-like instrument called a lute. We look at lots of castles before creating our pieces. The Tulleries, the picture that inspired this movement was of an avenue in the garden of the Tulleries with a swarm of children and nurses. The Tulleries is a garden in the centre of Paris. It is near the Louvre Museum. There are trees, sculptures and open spaces where children play football and a little pond where children sail Boats. In the summertime nowadays, there is an amusement park with a Ferris wheel and other rides, but that did not yet exist when Hartman drew his picture. Sharon, who lives in Paris, sent us some videos of the Tulleries. They were beautiful. The 
the cattle. The picture that inspired this movement was a large cart with big wheels, drawn by oxen. An ox is another word for a large bull or cow. We looked at lots of great pictures of ox-drawn carts for inspiration too. We also read the poem of the Ox Cart Man by Donald Hall. The ballet of the unhatched chicks in their shells. The, pi the picture that inspired this movement was a sketch of a costume for a ballet. The costume looked like an eggshell but had rooms for the legs and arms to be free to move and dance. We love viewing the footage of the Australian ballet companies, the Nutcracker for inspiration. The costumes were beautiful. Samuel Goldenberg and Shamil. Samuel Goldenberg and Shamil were inspired by two separate portraits of two men. In some historical documents, they were identified as two Polish Jewish men, one rich and one poor. Being Jewish can mean two things. Judaism is both a religion and a loosely knit group of people. There are many people that consider themselves to be Jews that are not religious. There are also religious Jews from all over the world, of all different races. We also viewed videos of synagogues, the Jewish house of worship, like a church, from all over the world. The market at Limoges. The picture that inspired this movement was a mar was a market at in Limoges. Limoges is a city in France, and the market, especially in old times, but even now, is a great meeting place where people come from the village and chat or, and buy all sorts of things, from fruits and vegetables to clothes and other goods. The market can be both outdoors or indoors, and is generally a very busy, bustling place. We also viewed a video of a typical French market. The catacombs. The drawing that inspired this movement was a sketch of Hartmann himself exploring the catacombs in Paris by the light of a lantern. The catacombs are a real set of tunnels and mazes underneath Paris. One particular section of the catacombs, which is open to pub to the public, is a very old cemetery which contains thousands of skulls and bones from ancient Parisians. The video was really creepy and we were glad to see the light at the end.
Ariaga. Hartman's sketch, sketch that inspired this movement was believed to be a picture of a clock in the shape of Baba Yaga's heart with chicken legs. Baba Yaga is a legendary witch from Russian folklore. We listen to the story for more ideas. Of Kiev. The Great Gate of Kiev was inspired by a sketch that Hartman made of a huge monumental gate that was designed to commemorate the fact that the Tsar, uh, King Alexander. Alexander II, had survived an assassin attempt on his life. There was a big contest of architects to see who would win the prize of the gate and Hartman won but sadly the gate was never actually built. Kiev is the largest city in Ukraine which borders Russia and Poland was we also looked at some monumental gates that still exist including the Australian War Memorial, which was built to commemorate soldiers. We hope you have enjoyed the journey through our interpretation of the lost artworks of Victor Hartman, in, inspired by the music by composers Modest Mazorski and Modest Ravel. Thank you for viewing our pictures and exhibition. <laughs>